Well, to talk more about the situation in the West Bank, we're joined now by Jonathan Shansa, Senior Vice President for Research at the Foundation for the Defence of Democracies. He joins us from Washington, D.C. Good evening to you. And numerous terrorist attacks, IDF raids on a regular basis, settler attacks on Palestinians. Would you say the situation in the West Bank is now completely out of control? It's not completely out of control, but we are very much on a knife's edge. It certainly looks very close uh, to the circumstances that one would describe as an intifada uh, or an uprising on the Palestinian side. Of course, the lawlessness on the Israeli side that we've seen, this is not, of course, a trend yet, but it is certainly, we've seen some examples of it, which I think can exacerbate the situation. And I think we see media reports here trying to ascribe all of this uh, to the uh, new government in Israel. To me, it seems that this government in particular needs to restore order. It needs to restore order on the Palestinian side of the equation, on the Israeli settler side of the equation, and to broadly gain control of a territory that has been steadily um, lost to extremism over the last year, year and a half. It has been a process that we've watched a slow motion train wreck, if you will. Uh, and to what extent is this uh, a result of the split uh, in the Palestinians? Is there a role for Hamas in all of this? Is the group gaining a, a stronger foothold in the West Bank? Absolutely. Um, this is the result of a strategy undertaken by Hamas uh, in the aftermath of the 2021 war in Gaza, they think there was a decision made uh, by the leadership uh, in connection also with uh, Iran, the IRGC, as well as Hezbollah. There was an understanding that every time a, uh, a war would break out, it was Hamas that took the brunt of it. It was the Gaza Strip that took the brunt of it. In other words, Israel uh, responds to that rocket fire and uh, it's Hamas that ultimately suffers. Uh, they lose control over their foothold in the Gaza Strip. And so they made a decision back in 2021 to begin to export the violence to the West Bank. And this has been a successful strategy. We have watched groups like the Lion's Den emerge. This is a group uh, that is essentially uh, an amalgam of uh, fighters from across the Palestinian spectrum, uh, as well as Hamas. Hamas engaging in this kind of violent activity, Islamic Jihad, the Al-Aqsa Martyrs Brigades, they're all coming together. This has been sporadic violence, but I think as more and more weapons flow into the West Bank, as they get additional assistance from Iran and Hezbollah and Hamas, we're watching a full-throated campaign take form, and this is very much part of that strategy devised uh, about a year and a half ago. All right, John Senshan, sir, at the FDD, thank you very much indeed. Thank you.